Hello, Revenge Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Getting Sunk by Pirates in Uncharted Waters. Um, we lost Jose and one of our heavy galleons last episode due to a pirate attack. And they're not done yet. This is a different fleet. Everyone's attacking me now. Well, this is interesting. So, um, the good news is I bulked up the crew before we left port here. I was hoping to get revenge on, um... Wow, that's a lot of galleons. Maybe I'm gonna have to start putting much larger crews on. Um, I was hoping to get revenge on the warrior, because we haven't actually killed him. But if all we're gonna fight is, um, galleon style, with, uh... 160 crew each. It's very difficult to win those fights unless I have more than that. It's pretty tough. Okay, well that's one ship done. Once we're in cannon range, we tear them apart. <laughs> I just want. Did I. Did I one shot that ship? I th don't think we shot it with cannons yet. 60 hull in one volley. I mean, we are very powerful, it's just... We got overwhelmed. I wasn't expecting to have such a diff difficult fight. I mean, here we go. This is the Spanish fleet sunk on the waves. Wow, yeah. So, the Ankylo flagship can literally one-shot almost anything now. I don't think we can do 70 damage yet, which is the max hull, I believe, from a, uh, an AI fleet. But if this guy's got 70... Yeah, durability 70. We can almost one-shot that. I thought I was going to have an angle there, and I didn't. That was my bad. Keep misjudging distances. There we go. Well, this is not what I wanted either. Dang it! I should have turned. So, uh, I was expecting... I moved too far away again. Okay. Pay attention, Blue. There's only one ship left, but let's not make it easy for him. I was expecting to begin uh, traveling across the Atlantic and, uh, you know, quickly finishing up this pimento quest, but instead, we're stuck fighting constantly. I don't think we'll need anything, but uh, now we have to go back into port and re-recruit uh, re all of these. We're, we're stripping San George of every possible able-bodied man I think they've got. And uh, I still haven't totally remembered which ship we lost. We will never forget what's his name, yeah. Jose was the kid that died on us, unfortunately. Unless he's swam to shore since. No, he has not. So. Hmm. I hate sailing long distance voyages with tons and tons of crew because it takes so much food. But if we're going to be attacked like that. It's not hull durability that sinks us, it's we just eventually run out of crew from being crushed. Maybe we go to 150 on everyone if that's how the game's gonna be. Remember when I started this voyage? I think we all had 20 or 30 on each ship. Yeah, that's suicide. Still not quite as much as a galleon, but pretty solid. Still gonna be very hard to carry as much food as I want. Don't worry about it, Schminchkin. You haven't missed anything other than us losing a battle and having Jose die. Okay, we've currently... we don't seem to have a whole lot of supplies right now. I guess I just miss having that fifth ship. We did lose all of our gold bullion, though. Devastating. Oh, we don't have a lot of food. I should have put more food than water. 
16 days, ugh. Dis disappointing. That's the trouble, because I have to carry the pimentos back. Like, I probably lost, I probably lost like 800 gold and uh, all the pimentos in the world. So we'll get back to Jamaica and we won't actually have enough uh, pimentos. We'll have to do the trip again. <laughs> At that point, I might just quit the quest. Well, if we ever see uh, the warrior again, we will slaughter that fool. Okay, this is the correct tile to travel across the Atlantic. I just want to buy some food before we go. Okay, we've got 500, nearly 600 food. We have 440, 540, 640, so we'll have probably fairly equal food and water. 18 days. I'm pretty sure we can make it across in 18 days, but like I said, I I much prefer traveling around the world with small ship, small crews. We're gonna put a save down just in case something goes horribly wrong. But um, I still have way more water than food. I guess it's nice because like water doesn't go bad so much. making pretty good progress so far. If I remember correctly, this should lead us directly to Santo Domingo. Oh yeah? You think so? Who are you? That Stubby's fleet? <laughs> They're also pirates. Let's get rid of Stubby before he builds up a larger fleet. You pirates are jerks. Don't you run away from me. back here. Yeah, you you know you want some. Stubby. We can't fight at night. Who makes these rules? Ah. It's light. It's dawn. Fight. Alright, Stubby. We are now pirate destroyers. No, we only have like four ships, but we've got too many crew to feed anyway. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right, Schminchkin. Spend all day chasing Stubby. Guys, I'll probably could just capture that ship, I suppose. Yeah, let's just let's just do it in, in melee here. We're pretty close to Santo Domingo, so we can get more crew anyway. Take that, stubby. <laughs> You're through. I'm doing a lot of combat the last few episodes. Crazy. Lots of gold, paying for our food supply and food budget at least. He had some more grapes. We should just sell those grapes. They're kind of taking up precious storage space. Seeing as we can't uh, carry a whole lot of food at the moment. Alright, Stubby has been defeated. This is uh, Santo Domingo. I believe one more to the west should be um, Jamaica. Hopefully we have enough pimentos. I'm kind of glad, although in retrospect I wasn't even planning for it, but I spread out all of the ships carrying pimentos, so hopefully we have enough, even though one was lost. Alright. We successfully completed another mission.
Okay, grapes and pimentos are not worth a whole lot up here. We still have those firearms. You know what? We should make one trip to, uh... To Panama and pick up as much gold as we can. And then we can go back to, um, Bordeaux and... And get build another ship, basically. Although, I do need one more mate. No, you got lots of crew. Carla doesn't need that many. Alright, 150 each. That's all you get. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go stop by. What? <laughs> Since when did the Spanish guard hang out in Jamaica? <laughs> Jamaica doesn't sound Spanish, does it? Probably was this time of year. All right, let's try to go to Panama. Pretty sure we decided it was kind of south from here. I think this is it, actually. All the best ports are in those, like, three squares. Santo Domingo, Jamaica, and Panama. Those, that's the best. This port looks suspicious. Is this allied with Spain as well? It better not. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, Jamaica should be English. Totally. Allied with Spain, 100%. We're gonna get kicked out again. Just, just let me buy some gold before we go. Here, have my guns. Fight off the Spain Spaniards. Please. I want this gold, though. No, don't sell the gold. Sell the guns. Excellent. At least we'll make some gold for all of our trouble here. How would you like some grapes and some pimentos? Just get rid of them. I've got quite a few grapes. I don't think they're worth that much anyway. They're probably worth more somewhere else, but... And I know artwork is worth more back in Europe, but just take them. The point is to get some gold. Alright, I think our fleets are ready to go. We've got... We've got a fair bit of gold. Hopefully we can still carry enough food and water to get across the Atlantic. Tell me about your adventures. Rosanna. Maybe we should name a ship after her. The king wants to talk to me. <laughs> the king's looking for you, pet. Oh, you. Alright, we will, um... Oh, let's see if we can recruit Diaz. Ah, he's the hardest one! I was hoping maybe we'd get lucky and we'd be able to recruit this guy, since he's, I believe, the strongest, uh... Captain you can, uh, recruit like that. Would've been awesome. Um, I think I will, I will rename one of our ships. The Ankula, we're, we're naming them all after women. So, this one's Rosa, because she's, uh, helpful. And I like going to Panama, so here you go. Her name isn't exactly Rosa, but we've only got so many letters. Besides, it's a good name for a ship. There's probably a million ships named Maria, though. Alright. Let's restock and try to sail back to Europe. Gotta build ourselves a new ship. And then, of course, see what the king wants. We have... Let's just double-check this. First, we've got... A little under 500 water. And way under... We got... 350. So we need... A lot of food. And not quite as much water. Trying to balance this without doing a ton of math. 
Let's see if that's close. 33 days, that's a lot better than it used to be. We kept having like 16, 17 days. Also, I didn't recruit all of our crew again, so we might be a little bit low on some ships. Oh, actually, the main thing is we just got rid of all those firearms that was taking up all that space. That's what happened. Anyway, 32 days, 33 days, we are pretty well balanced at the moment. One of our ships is going to be sailing really low, though, because it's, uh... Full of gold. But it does cost, like, I'd say a nearly 60,000 gold just to fit a new ship anyway. Between, um... The ship building itself, plus arming it with cannons, recruiting the crew, and still putting the figurehead on it. That's probably at least 60,000 gold, if not more. The wind is not in the correct direction. The wind is in the correct direction. Well, I guess we're just lucky there was no skeleton pirates in Jamaica when we were there. Even though the Spanish got all annoyed with us. I wonder if we're going to be attacked as soon as we hit the coast of Lisbon here. Food supplies are okay. Looks like um, some random island. I keep forgetting what one that is. Might be... it's not... I don't think it's the Canaries. Canaries are further south, I believe. Well, actually, this is pretty south. Maybe that is the case. Stupid Spain. Well, I guess we'll talk to the king before we uh, build another ship. The problem with building another ship is we actually need another captain, and I'm a little bit picky. Like, I would like a good captain rather than just some random jerk. Someone who can actually, like, fight. Hey, Carlota. It's been a rough year. sailors, of course. Well, I guess after visiting Carlota for the night, let's go talk to the king and the princess. You see, Carlos from Spain is wreaking havoc. See, it is wreaking. Some people say wrecking havoc. I think it's usually spelled wreaking. I will totally start, stop Carlos. By the way, uh, let's see our money. Not quite two million Schmitchkin, or whoever asked, sorry. Let's talk to the princess. I did say I would never forget you, but also remember that the waitresses across the world said the same thing. <laughs> Here, have a gift. Have a coral bracelet. I don't know how many of these she's got, but uh, have another one. <laughs> Add it to the stack. Alright, so we had a night with the waitress and a night with the princess. Let's... Let's go sink Carlos's fleet. Still got 10 days of food, that's enough for what I want to do. I'm actually going to head to Seville. Seville. Uh, he may or may not be there, but I am looking for mates. So maybe we can find someone. Uh, is that the guy? That's Gregario. He is another pirate. All we ever get is freaking pirates. Alright. Pirates, you want to fight me? You want to fight? Let's do this. I shouldn't fight when we're directly on top of each other. We'll probably start all mixed up and in melee. You know, you'd think by now we would be pretty infamous as well. We've sunk a lot of pirates. And these guys don't even have galleons. Like, look at this, they're all just gonna die in melee. Yeah, you wanna fight in melee, we'll take you. I'm kind of spreading out my attacks, which isn't all that profitable. And this is with us only having four ships. Like, we're at 80% strength today. Well, we've learned from our adventures with the warrior, basically.
Do I want to capture his ship? No. This is how we deal with pirates. We sink them. <laughs> you are through. That was the quickest battle ever. Well, maybe not quite, but still pretty good. Lots of levels up. A special candlestick in 16k. Sure. Artwork? That's actually worth a fair bit of money. We just picked up, like, maybe 100 times 400, so about... It's not much. It's like 4,000 gold in art. <laughs> I thought it would be more... Oh no, it's 400. It would be 40,000, maybe? No. Let's see if we're even allowed in Seville. Apparently we're allowed. We should have asked Carlota about the fleet. He might have told us where it was going, actually. Margarita? He's on his way here. Well, that's convenient. Can you tell me where from? Like, is he sailing from... Russia, or is he sailing from the Mediterranean? Well, I mean, we could just hang around here. That's kind of boring. Anybody in Spain want to join up for slaughtering some Spaniards? I guess we're just lucky that you don't have to worry about... You don't really have to worry about mutinies in this game. Unless you, uh, really, really stop feeding your guys, or stop paying... I guess you get mutinies from, um, your mates, rather than your, your, um, random crew. Alright. And we're arrested, right? Yep. <laughs> You're arrested. We could try to bribe them, let's just flee. Fleeing has never failed us before, right? <laughs> It's getting difficult to dock anywhere, seeing as Spain seems to have allied, like, everywhere in the world by now. Portugal fleets are really bad at allying cities, for whatever reason. Uh, is this Carlos, maybe? The last time it was some pirates. Oh. Well, we know who that is now. Okay, guys, it is time for revenge. Get back here, you. To wait till it's daytime. Yeah, he knows. I would prefer not to be stacked on top of him when he attacks us, but. Alright, warrior, round two. You won the last one, although I think we sunk most of his ships, but uh, he, he, he did better than anyone else I've ever fought. I'm warrior. <laughs> he's not even the warrior, he's just, I'm warrior. Alright. I wish I had five ships by now. Alright, so that galleon's got us on crew. Wow, that guy definitely won that engagement. Culverins aren't that big a deal. These guys are much better at boarding than we are. Do not battle with boarding. Just cannons. We're much better... Our cannons are really good. We should just be using those. Ranged attacks. That's the spirit. Let's see if I can sink this one in one shot here. It's almost dead. Yeah. Well, one shot. I mean, one more shot. You focus on the Carla, that's fine. Alright, I think we're good. It's basically getting stuck in melee that is the big problem. Unless we bring really large crew sizes. Unless we bring those 200 crews, it's, uh, it's dangerous. 
All right, warrior. It's just you and me. Well, almost. Ah, I meant to turn. Now it's just you and me, warrior. He doesn't even have cannons. That's bad news for him. I think you are doomed, sir. Alright, and we get the final blow, as is our birthright. Die! You son of a Jose murdering scum. You are through. I don't want to ever see you again. It sure did. <laughs> we get all the experience. We got money. What do we get? What you got? Oh, surprise, some artwork. Let's put that on the ship that already has artwork. And we might as well take some food. And we might as well take all his water. Alright. Well, that was... That was a good fight. That was revenge. I guess we go back to Lisbon to, uh... Repair. I need another... I need another mate. I'm feeling really short-handed with only four ships. I mean, we're doing well in these combats, but, um... You know, we're at 80% strength here. I don't know if I've ever lost a ship before. Like, that's crazy. Hey, Rosa. Or, sorry, Carla. It's Carla, I'm calling you. He's bound for Seville. Well, thanks for that. Fernando! I don't think we really want you, but let's have you join up anyway. At least we'll have a, uh a fifth ship now, or we can go ahead and fifth ship. I basically just needed at least one more mate so that we can, um... You know what? I'm actually gonna go maybe to... Well, now that we're not gonna be sailing around into, um... I'm not planning on sailing across the ocean again. Having a, uh larger crew size, is, we can probably afford to feed them here, because the, the cities are close together. So let's go back up to 200, so the combat is a little bit less devastating. Yeah, I know, Fernando's probably up to no good. I wouldn't trust him. Alright, we got a, a significant crew advantage if we get into combat now. Which is almost inevitable. Oh. <laughs> Sminchkin, Sminchkin in chat seems to figure we're really going to be in trouble for having Fernando with us. Alright. We are ready for action. Let's go for a sea voyage. So we're going to head up to Bordeaux and build a ship, and then we'll try to fight Carlos. Twelve days, that's fine. <laughs> Those eyes. Let's uh, make sure I, I, I upgrade his loyalty then before we go anywhere. Yeah, he's not very loyal right now. Luckily, we got lots of money so we can buy him off. Took 3,000 gold, basically, to level up, to get to max. Wasn't, like, Roberto getting... yeah. That only bought me 11 points, wow. Roberto sounds like he's gonna be pretty sketchy, too. How about our pirates? Miguel and Conrad, they're pretty happy. I actually don't know if it's possible if they fight better or sail better if you keep them at max loyalty. It's possible. Conrad's happy, though. Conrad is the best. Conrad and Miguel are pretty awesome, but I like Conrad the most. Something about his personality. He's just a cool guy. Alright, Bordeaux. This is, like, this is supposed to be our town. This is the town I invested in. 
how do you think this one looks as far as alliances go? Well, we still have the... the... We're still in the lead, but Turkey's trying to steal it away from us. Alright, we're gonna sell them a bunch of golds. And then we're gonna build a ship. I'm gonna see if there's any more first mates. I would like to replace this guy. No, of course you don't see any other sailors. You know I'm trying to replace you. Cherie! You know what? We should rename the last the last ship Cherie, the new ship. Because this is another port that we've kind of uh, made home, basically. Let's make let's get her up to love tier. It's really important. Everyone's up to love tier. I won't forget you. Oh wait, that actually told me his direct coordinates. South 30, East 5. Okay, so he's got a fair ways to go before he can make it to uh, Seville. That's good to know, though. That means he's in, I think, East Africa? I think. A little bit more. Bound for Seville. There we go, we got her up to love mode. Alright, you definitely get a ship name for you for that. Good work, Cherie. Buy, build, heavy galleon. Hey, Spiller. We are gonna make it out of the strongest wooded known to man. Four point six. Let's see if we can negotiate him down a little bit. I mean, I know I've got millions of gold. Look, we, we just saved 1,300 gold. That's fine. I'm not going to worry about that. And we want 200 as a default. Alright, we're going to call it the Cherie. will be the navigator. We also need to put guns on it. They do not come with guns, in case you're wondering. Have lots of guns. Now we need to get it some crew. We also need to get it a figurehead, but the only place that I know of you can buy the best figurehead is er, Seville. Not Castile, Seville. I guess I should see just how bad a sailor this new guy is. I will almost certainly be ditching him if I can find anyone possibly better. Even remotely better. Oops. It does kind of suck losing Jose though, seeing as Jose was at such a high level. We're gonna be we're gonna be sailing really slowly for a while here. Unless this guy has a high level, but I bet you it's not. Let's just see what he's got. Fernando... Actually, average levels. That's higher than I was expecting. <laughs> That's not too bad, I guess. I guess we could have done a lot worse. I mean, Roberto is still not very good at combat. Miguel is still not that great at sailing. Not Conrad's probably our worst sailor, though. How about ourselves? How are we doing? We've actually got more battle levels than sailing levels now. Pretty awesome. Alright, well, we're probably going to end the episode pretty quick. Let's, uh... Oh, hold on. Let's restock a bit here. It's nice that food is so cheap here. Pretty low on money here. We can always sell off our um, gold bullion or just go back to Portugal and withdraw some of our 2 million gold. So, um, I'm just gonna go north and check if London. Usually, the problem with going up to Northern Europe 
including London and all that, is there's very little going on up here. Um, I don't know if that's the game developer's um, racism, but uh, what I'm looking for specifically is another mate. So we're gonna we're just gonna zip through this real quick. See if I can find anybody. No sailors. Okay, it's really all I'm looking for right now. And if we don't find anyone, I'll just reload. Well, we'll end the episode, and I'll just reload back from Bordeaux and save some sailing time. Story strange minds. <laughs> I wish there was a way that you could change frame skip in these games to keep the music the same and then just speed up the rest of the gameplay. That would be a mod I would be happy with. On the other hand, I don't like waiting 10 seconds to go into port. No sailors. Matilda. We can't even afford to tip Matilda. Oh, dire straits, dire straits. I could just try to keep it on high speed most of the time, so that the music is always the same. You still got lots of food and water. Mostly just can check these last two ports. Oh, come on. Keep <laughs> Oslo. There's certainly going to be some amazing mates here, right? Problem is, if I'm always on high speed, I can't get into buildings. <laughs> Alright, I don't think we're going to find anybody, but we got one more to go. No officers, alright, well. The Nina! This is where we got one of our ships named from. <laughs> alright, well, YouTube, just pretend that never happened. We'll uh, head south and look for Carlos's Spanish fleet next time. Thanks for watching, hope you guys have enjoyed, and have a great day. Page down.